The psychic research that began at Duke University is now being conducted all over the world. There are thousands of computerized case histories on extrasensory perception, as well as detailed tests that go beyond chance or coincidence. It is a fact that Sigmund Freud said, if I had my life to live over, I would devote it to psychic research rather than psychoanalysis. And Freud actually did some ESP experiments with Albert Einstein, very much like the ones we're going to conduct tonight. Are we ready? Yep. We'll begin. Something to do with time. Someone works with time. They're my uncle's glasses, Dr. Rhodes. He's a watchmaker.
Dr. Michael Rhodes, leading authority in the investigation of psychic phenomena and the world of ESP. Star. Square. Six. Nine. Nine. You don't even know this Dr. Ford? Never met him, Nancy. But he's a very famous neurosurgeon. His son called my office at the university simply said he wanted my help, and that it was urgent. My father's in his room, Dr. Rhodes. He never comes out. Never comes out? I'm afraid you'll have to speak with him. He's upstairs. Father, this is Dr. Rhodes and his research assistant, Miss Murphy. I'm dying. I'm dying, Dr. Rhodes. Is there anything I can do for you, Dr. Ford? changing, Dr. Ford. I'd like to help you. Months ago, I had color in my face. My eyes were bright. And these hands were steady enough to place steel in human tissue with the precision of a machine. What is it that makes a man change? You think your illness comes from some psychic origin? None of my colleagues in medicine or psychiatry have been able to diagnose it. How about other symptoms, other than your physical deterioration? I have symptoms of a growth inside my brain. Only there is no growth. Just this pain, the delusions, beasts, monstrous creatures. What makes you think it could be something more than the delusions? Because my son was plagued with exactly the same thing before he died. He was engaged to a young woman who had an obsession with this psychic world. She seemed to exert an 
overwhelming influence over him. Now, it was more than influence. It was a kind of power. Possibly this power was auto-suggestion. A kind of psychological force that's used on voodoo and witchcraft victims. Doctor, I am no primitive savage receptive to witchcraft suggestions. I'm a scientist. How did you find out about me, Doctor? Well, after my son died, I ordered his fiance out of the house. She left one of your books here. Did you read it? Yes, I read it. I don't think I believed any of it, though. Desperation you know, makes a man turn to anything. I've based my life on existing facts. Facts don't rule out the possibility of a sixth sense. Everyone has said, I knew you were going to call me, or, or I had a feeling you were on the way over to see me today. I mean, that's extrasensory perception. It's simply a matter of training oneself to use it to the fullest extent. All right, all right. I will agree that there are areas.